Hello, howdy. Woo! What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another one of these five-minute practice routines. I'm kind of turning this into a whole little series. If you haven't checked out the playlist, I will link that up here <laughs> and down below and all that stuff. And uh, this one's gonna be all about picking. We did one about legato. Uh, we had two just kind of like overall practice ones. And this one's gonna be focused on picking. Now the tabs are down below if you wanna check that out. And there is still one day left of my huge eight course guitar sale. It's 84% off. It is on sale until tomorrow at midnight. So make sure you check that out down below if you want. If you dig what this course is about, there I have two courses about picking. So uh, there's plenty in there. Like I said, check it out. And let's just go ahead and dive on into this. So number one, I want to do some of these uh, picking exercises on the lower strings. I noticed a lot of stuff focuses on the higher strings, which are, you know, great areas to focus on. I have some for that too. But this one is kind of like this, it has like a bouncing sound to me. Um, and I just like the way it was kind of tricky to get it, you know, looping and stuff like that. And I just really like the, the sound of it. I'm using strict alternate picking on this. Now on the, all of these, we're going to focus on economy. Uh, and alternate picking, maybe like a little bit of sweet picking ideas in there, but I'm not really doing any hybrid picking in this particular episode. So we're gonna be going seven to eight on the high E string. And think of this as being uh, essentially like A minor, C major, even though it's kind of this low Korean shape. So we're gonna go seven to eight on the A string, followed by 10 on the low E string. Now that seven, eight stays consistent. It's almost like a pedal idea. So then I'm gonna go seven, eight, 10 on the A. Seven, eight again on the A, but then 10 on the D. Seven, eight again, nine on the G. Notice how that incorporated our ring finger. So we use all four fingers in this exercise. All right, so the next one is a very economy influenced a picking idea, again, based out of A minor. And again, I like this one because it uses all four fingers again. So I'm gonna go five to seven on the high A string, followed by eight on the B. Now, this one I'm picking down, up, up, and I do this same picking technique throughout the entire lick. So every three notes, down, up, up, down, up, up. So if you have to, you just sit there and do that one. Now I uh, move up in the scale, but I'm just kind of moving up horizontally right now. Uh, I'm sorry, vertically. I'm gonna go five, six on the B, and then seven on the G. So that right there is a great one to practice. Shifting up, you're gonna go seven to eight on the high string, and then 10 on the B. Okay. Now I'm gonna go up again on the B, I'm gonna go six to eight, and then nine on the G. Now I like to use these three fingers, your pointer, middle, and uh, ring finger. Just kind of makes the most sense to me. Um, than having to shift your hand back. That doesn't seem practical to me. So I would go, okay. There you go, that one. You could keep moving up if you wanted to, of course, throughout the scale. Oh, maybe. And so on. Now the next one I really like because of the use of a single note surrounded by all of these other notes. So basically the idea is this, it's all alternate picked. And it resolves nicely, so you're starting on the same picking motion each time. Okay, so this one we are chilling back in C major. We're starting down here though, not on the low E string. You're gonna go three, five, seven on the A string. Down, up, down. Now I play a simple single five on the D. This is my connecting note. Okay, then three, five, seven on the G. Oh, not, don't do that. And then descend everything that we just ascend. So. Okay. 
right? Then it cycles. So. Now next is this total sweet picking idea. Uh, it's just going between two different arpeggios. It's going between an A minor and a G major. And basically it's this. Okay? So I start with an up pick, but once we get cycling through it with the slide, you end up only picking uh, two ups and two downs, and that's it. So basically I'm gonna go up on 12, pull off to eight, and I go to 10 on the B and nine on the G. So that's up, pull off, up, up. Slide down to seven. We're sliding into the G major now. So then I'm gonna go to uh, eight on the B, which is the down, seven on the high string, which is the down, and then I go to uh, eight, which is an up, and I slide. So I go like this, I go. Okay, so slow. I think I said there would be two, I forgot. That, that one isn't up, so there, that up is still there. There's just a slide in front of it. That was my mistake. So up, pull up, 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 down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, 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 down, down. You can keep going with it if you wanted to. You know, whatever chord you want to go to next. Up. Now the last one here is one that's brand spanking new for myself and uh, for you, hopefully. So this is an idea I came up with, uh, I've been working on, and I really like the way it starts out with diagonal shape. And normally I would, in my mind, think I would sweet pick it, but alternate picking is what has always felt more comfortable for this one so far. All right, so here's what we're doing. So like I said, starting on an E minor right here, although it's a C major scale, uh, we are going to simply uh, just be going like this. So you're gonna go 12 on the low E string, to 10 on the A, and nine on the D. There's your E minor. Now I descend the scale, the normal Ionian mode. And that's gonna simply go 10, 9, oh, sorry, 12, 10, 9 on the D. Can't talk. Uh, then 12, 10, 8 on the A. 12, 10, 8 on the low E. So. Okay, now I'm gonna go back up 10, 12 on the low E. And then 8, 10 on the A. And that's where that one ends. So I go. Okay, so just get to where you can cycle that. So what I do then is I simply move down in the scale. Now we're basically doing an A minor. Okay, so I'm gonna go 12 on the A, 10 on the D, nine on the G. Now I descend the scale. I'm gonna go 12, 10, nine on the G this time, 12, 10, nine on the D. 12, 10, 8 on the A, then I go 10, 12, and then uh, 9, 10 on the D, and that one starts over. Now, looping those is a really good challenge because this one ends on the D, and you gotta start over again on the low string, so you have to do a little string skip. So once you put them together, you have... back A minor if you want. But that one to me was just a lot of fun and I really enjoyed moving it through the scale. You know, all right, home diggity dogs, that is it. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in. Hopefully you like these five minute workout exercise things that I've been putting together for you. Like I said before, guitar course on sale ends tomorrow. That link is down below in the description and I will see you all on the flippity flop later. Peace out homies, whoop.